This is a video about two sample hypothesis testing using the matched pairs method for the mean difference between two groups of data. You wish to test the following claim, the alternative hypothesis H1, at a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.001. For the context of this problem, the mean difference is equal to the mean of group 2 minus the mean of group 1 where the first data set represents pretest and the second data set represents a post-test. <clears throat> now some legal requirements to use the match pairs method. You believe the population of difference in scores is normally distributed, but you do not know the standard deviation. We need to find the test statistic, the p-value, we'll compare it to alpha, then we'll come to a conclusion based on our hypotheses. So we actually do have to put raw data into our Google Sheets document. The easiest way to do this is to <clears throat> go to the question itself <clears throat> and you could try copying and pasting the data directly into Google Sheets, but sometimes this is tricky. So I found the easiest to take that data, copy it, pasting it into Excel or some sort of spreadsheet software. And then copying the data over column by column in the Google Sheets. This has always worked for me. <clears throat> so in Google Sheets, we'll go to two variable stats. <clears throat> it may take a little while to get to this tab and for calculations to be done, but I'm going to paste my first group of data, my pretest, and then Let's copy over the second group of data, my post-test. Paste it in cell B2 and it'll fill the cells following it. <clears throat> and your answers that you want for this question are going to be in column O. So you need to mosey on over to column O. And if you'll notice, there's all these errors currently. It's because it does take a little bit of time to calculate. So give the software some time to calculate. It's still calculating. <laughs> Just be a little bit patient with it. It's working as hard as it can. So it looks like our test statistic will be negative 2.14. And we're dealing with a left tailed test because we're dealing with less than. So the p value is about 0 0.0326. Those are the two numbers that we need here. And all that, although it does take a little while to get these calculations, it's probably better that Google Sheets is doing it than you. It might take a little while. <clears throat> so our test statistic is negative 2.14, and our p value is 0 0.0326. Let's compare the p-value to alpha. Remember our claim is the alternative hypothesis. We have our p-value. We have our alpha given to us in the question. The p-value is definitely greater than alpha, which means we failed to reject the null hypothesis. So we failed to reject the null hypothesis. Our original claim does not include equality. So we have the general format of our conclusion here, which happens to be there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the mean difference of post-test from pre-test is less than zero. So that's an example of using the matched pairs method. Thanks for watching.